Hey everyone, Rich here with Aces and H Firearms. I wanted to do a real quick video on the disassembly of a Bergara B14R bolt. There's a lot of videos out there on the disassembly of the center fire version of the B14, but I haven't seen any on the rim fire. So um, what you'll need is you'll need a 330 seconds punch, um, an approximately 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench, um, approximately, because I'll show you what that does here in just a second. Uh, these roll pins, um, this roll pin here that attaches the bolt head to the bolt body, and then these two roll pins that attach the uh, um, extractors, left and right extractor, they are not solid roll pins, they're the spring coil uh, type roll pins, so you do, do need to replace those um, whenever you drive these out because nine out of 10 times you're gonna screw it up whenever they come out. So just keep that in mind. So to start with, we'll take and drive the this roll pin out, get the bolt body away from the bolt head. pin there. Now whenever you take the bolt there's no tension or no spring tension or anything on here. So pull this apart. Keep in mind there's a washer right there. You got your firing pin and your firing pin return spring right there. So I'll put those back. Just lay those out there for a second so you can see the the order that they come out. Okay. Set all this stuff off to the side. Now we can work with the, removing the uh, firing pin assembly here, or not firing pin assembly, the, uh, the bolt shroud. So if you look, it might be kind of hard to see, there is a notch, right? Let's see if I can move this around. There's a notch right here. There's another notch on the opposite side. You need to take this 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and just slide through there. What you need to do is you need to keep that, that uh, firing pin back. So then you'll take and rotate the whole assembly. Just keep right on rotating it, and all you're doing is just unscrewing it. You got the bolt body. Now, obviously, if you pull this pin out, this spring is going to expand. So there really is no need to take this any farther apart than what it is right now. Um, obviously, if there's a broken spring or an issue there, but there's no need to take that any farther apart. So to take the right and left extractors out of it, um, just take and drive your roll pins out. I do need a smaller, I need a sixteenth roll pin, or a pin, pin punch to take this out with. So you drive your roll pin out. Now, there is a difference between the right and left extractors. And I'll show you what they look like when I get them set out. So set that one out like that. Now, of course, there's going to be a spring right down inside of there. Drive this one out. Pull 
pull this spring out. Now, if you look, this is how they come out. So this is the right extractor, because we're looking just like if this bolt was put together, just like that, okay? So this, is, this in here is gonna be on the uh, ejection port side. If you look at the difference between the right one and the left one, the right one has a little bit more of a belly right in this area. A little bit more of a belly. Um, they won't go in the other way. There's not any difference in the hook up here that, that grabs a hold of your uh, cases, but there is a difference, as you can see, in the belly right there. So make sure the one that's got the widest belly goes in the right side. Now, if you look at the springs also, this is the spring to the left extractor. And then this one here is the spring to the right extractor. Bergara shows the same spring as far as the part number. However, if you look at them, they're obviously different. Um, I haven't re had to replace any of them, so uh, all I'm going by is the, the part number. Uh, but unless you need to replace them, I would keep them in the same orientation as what they came out of your gun. So I'll leave these parts sitting here so you kind of get an idea of how everything goes back in the orientation that it came out. Just like that. There is one little thing that I do whenever I pull these out of customers guns mainly because you'll get a little bit of a little bit of a burr and these might not extract or not extract but they may not smooth they may not pivot smoothly in there so I'll just take a fine square stone set the extractor on it Just stone it down smooth. Take any burrs off of either side. But other than that, there's not really a whole lot to do with it. Um, obviously, the installation is going to be just the reverse of that. Now, keep in mind, you need to replace these roll pin, spring roll pin things, because you can see that they are starting to get boogered up just from driving it out that one time. So, be sure to replace those. And the installation is just the opposite. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, just shoot me a message. You can give me a call here at the shop. Um, thanks for watching.